the processor and the memory are connected by an interconnection network which uh, primarily consists of three uh, buses one is the address bus one is the data bus and then there is a bus which uh, carries the control signals so here is the uh, processor memory interface which consists of a memory address register mar stands for memory address register this puts out the address of the memory location that has to be accessed on to the address bus so if the address bits are k in number that means the processor has put out a k bit address that means 2 to the power of k memory locations can be accessed okay and if the data bus is of n bits and we usually it is equal to the size of the word length so we see the word length is n bits the maximum that the processor the number of memory locations that can access is 2 to the power of n because it can generate 2 to the power of n but if it generates a k bit address then you can access 2 to the power of k address locations the data that is transferred between the memory and the processor is through the uh, register which is called the memory data register so if the data is coming from the memory to the processor it will come in the memory data register and if the data has to be sent to the memory then again it will go via this mdr register and it will be placed on the data bus from where it will be taken to the memory to be stored the control lines over here they generate uh, signals like read and uh, write so if read is active high write is active low the memory function complete signal which signifies that the memory function is complete so whether it was a read operation or whether it was a write operation the uh, uh, memory unit will send this signal back to the processor that the memory function is complete now so there are all these signals these are control signals which handle the synchronization between the processor and the memory consider a byte addressable memory and suppose uh, we have a 32 bit word so that means there in each word there are going to be four bytes so suppose if this is the first byte and this is a byte addressable memory that means each byte is having an address this is byte address 0 this is byte address 1 byte address 2 byte address 3 and so on all these bytes together they form this word 0 the second word word 1 it starts it contains these bytes 4 5 6 and 7 and so on suppose if it is uh, having a 32 bit word and we are also assuming that this is a 32 bit processor so the processor can generate a maximum of it can address a maximum of 200 2 to the power of 32 memory locations so it is going to generate a 32 bit address and this how can this address be interpreted so consider an address byte address 14 so this will be the 32 bit address for this address 14 this will be the address that will be generated by the processor as you can see over here if there are two to the power of 32 memory locations and if there are four bytes in each word so how many total number of words will be there divided by 2 to the power of 2 that means total number of words that would be there would be 2 to the power of 30 and what will their addresses range from word 0 to word 2 to the power of 30 minus 1 so now if we want to say which particular word this byte address belongs to 30 bits are required 
to specify the word so if you see over here if you divide this 32 bit address into two parts the high order 30 bits and the low order 2 bits so you can see over here that the 30 bits the third high order 30 bits are specifying the word and the low order 2 bits are specifying the byte within that word as it is you know that 4 bytes over here would require only 2 bits let us see what is the interpretation of this address as you can see over here this is specifying word number 3 if you look at the two lower order bits it is saying that this is byte 2 so within this word 3 this is byte 0 this is byte 1 this is byte 2 and this is byte 3 so any address any 32 bit address that is sent out by the processor the high order 30 bits will be specifying the word and the low order 2 bits will specify the byte within that word if we are saying that it is a 32 bit word length.